What is going on guys? I'm Alwin here and welcome to episode 38 of Newcastle's Transfer Challenge. This is it guys. This is it. We have a chance of winning the Premier League this season. Alright, so we have three more games to end our Premier League campaign. You know, we have played 35 games, sitting second behind Liverpool, four points behind them. Alright, so Liverpool have actually played 37 games. You know, recently they have won against Everton to keep that pressure on us. But if we win all of our three matches, we will be crowned the Premier League champion this season. And this will be our first Premier League as a Newcastle's manager. So I'm really, really excited. So the team that we are going to be facing today is going to be Arsenal, Leicester City and Norwich City. It is not going to be easy. Two out of the three games are going to be played away from home. And it is going to be against Arsenal. So Arsenal, they are currently sitting fourth in the Premier League. You know, they have a very, very good team and their manager is Zidane. All right, so they play a 4-3-3 formation as the same as us. And look at the last known lineup. All right, so they have really, really good players. If we look at the squad, right? If we sort them out by abilities, look at this. You know, Martinelli is obviously a very, very good player. Odegaard as well, you know, they have the players like Scalvini, Coop Miners. All right, so... I would say, you know, the core of the team is still there. And you know what's the best part? Aaron Ramsdale is injured. So let's have a look who who whom they might be play, playing against us today. I think it's going to be, most probably, it's going to be Tim Schreiber. Tim Schreiber, he doesn't look that good. So hopefully, you know, this injury to Aaron Ramsdale will be, you know, proof as an advantage for us. And hopefully, we will be able to score a lot of goals against them. I, I really hope, I really hope, I don't want us to, you know, I, I, I really don't want us to miss this chance of winning the Premier League against uh, against Liverpool of all teams. If you look at this, you know, in this whole series, Liverpool have won four Premier League, you know, in a row. And this season, we really need to dethrone them. They are one of the best teams in England. If we can win this Premier League, you know, ahead of them, it's going to be a great, great achievement for me as a Newcastle's manager. Alright, so I'm not going to take a lot of time for the intro. You know, we have three games to play today. So let's just get into the Arsenal's game. Alright, so this is the team that I'm going to be lining up against Arsenal. It's going to be Costa and Goal, Balde, Guardiola, Bastoni and Livra Mentos are back four. Tonal in the base of the midfield, Nunes and Enzo Fernandez are two central midfielder. Saint Maximin on the left, Tete on the right and Isaac as our striker up front. So Tete, uh, he is actually able to play 75 minutes. So I'm going to be starting him because uh, Hudson Adoy and Rudy Baji, at the absence of Tete, you know, they did not perform well. If you look at their last five games, right, the average rating is about 6.8. So it is seriously not really good. I'm going to start Tete. I really hope he will be the difference in today's game. All right. So in, about injuries, right, if we talk about injury, we still have Matthew Gabia out with injury. Julian Timber is also out for another 10 more days. So I think he will be missing all of the three games today. And James Madison is still out for another two more weeks. So hopefully he will be back for the Champions League final this season. All right, so let's just submit the team and get into the match. All right, so guys, we really need to play well today. If you look at the recent form of Arsenal, right, they have only won one game out of their last five games, so which is great. But we have recently lost to Napoli as well, you know, in our second leg of the Champions League semi final. So I really hope, you know, that. I seriously, really, really hope that that loss uh, was just a fluke. I really hope, you know, and it's not going to ruin our, you know, final, you know, the finale's momentum. I really hope that doesn't happen. And I really hope our team has what it takes, you know, to to basically, you know, to, yeah, to embrace the pressure and just win the match today. That is the only thing I need. I don't care. Even a 1-0 win is going to be enough for us to keep up the pressure and, yeah, at the end of the day, win the champ uh win the Premier League, not the Champions League. Champions League is gonna be in the next episode, guys. Alright, so our first highlight, the 22 minute Martinelli with the possession, passing it to Saliba. Now Tierney with the possession, passing it back to Scalvini. Alright, Scalvini taking his time. Odegaard. Now Jesus is true. Oh my god, Gabriel and they have took the lead. Oh my god, this is not the start that I was looking for. We have not defended well there. That Pass by Odegaard, pierced through our defenders and yeah, it just it was just too easy for Jesus one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Costa should have done better to be honest, you know. His positioning was not good and yeah, 
it it looked like he did not even try to save the ball simple as that all right now tonali come on can we equalize early on here no nope. cup miners got into the loose ball passing it to martinelli on the left hand side seriously guys we really need to defend well and if possible you know launch a counter attack and score a goal that is the only thing we need right now we really need to equalize as soon as possible because oh my god we are two nil down don't tell me we are going to lose the premier league what are we doing here guys seriously our team you know to be honest right they do not perform well under pressure you know this this is what happened last season last season we had the same situation you know we had to win our games in hand and we lost the league by one point to liverpool this is what happened to us i'm going to break you know i'm not going to demand more anything like that. i'm going to break the team we really need to back up here seriously what are we playing oh my god now arsenal has a free kick order god order god oh jesus <laughs> oh i think in the in the second half we will have to go attacking if if if, if you look at this you know we have the possession but we are not doing well with it we are not creating chances and what have we done oh we are so lucky what i think it was guardiol right Was he the one that did the mistake? Yeah, it was number five. We could have considered our third goal in the first half. Oh my god! I'm gonna tell the team that they have been terrible. I really thought, you know, with the absence of Aaron Ramsdale in Arsenal's team, we will be able to take advantage. But look at this! Oh my god, we we have the possession, but we are not creating enough chances, and yeah, we are not doing anything anything with with the possession that we have, and that is unacceptable. All right, so I'm going to ask the keeper to distribute quickly to anyone that he likes, you know, to any position. And I I'm not going to make any changes yet for now, you know. Uh just the change of the tactic and I'm going to shout demand more here. Okay, so uh, it is going to start with a corner to Arsenal or the guard with the corner. What is he going to do? He's trying to look for a far post. Isaac had it clear, but they still have the possession now. Come on. Oh, that was a really really beautiful curl with a shot, but unfortunately, fortunately for us it did not hit the target i i i i really don't know what's happening with our team here they are crumbling they look at this we don't have any highlight of us you know attacking the ball all of the highlights has been in 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 arsenal's favor and if this happens right we are not going to have a chance of winning the premier league as simple as that liverpool are not going to lose their their final game you know against leeds united of all team Oh guys, Guardiol to Bastoni. Oi, 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 oi! <laughs> they play on the right hand side. He could not win the header now. Livramento trying to look for Saint Maximi. Headed clear by the defender now. Coman passing it back to Scalvini, lumping the ball forward. Guardiol got into the loose ball. Okay, he's taking his time. He lost the possession to Gabriel Jesus now. Coop minus for Arsenal. Isaac, that was a good tackle. Can we launch a counter attack here? He tried to square it to Tete, but it is intercepted by the defender. Now Arsenal with the possession, Martinelli. Don't tell me they are going to go uh, all the way back, all the way to our goal and score a goal there. Now Jesus, oh my God, good save by Costa. Costa is still keeping us in the in the game right now, and oh my God, none of our players are playing well. Tonali is tired. Enzo Fernandez is tired. Nunes is tired. Tete is tired. What am I supposed to do here? Should I should I just change the whole team? Is it possible? Tete is on a six point three. He's tired. He can you know he can only play seventy five minutes. Right? I'm gonna bring in Hassan Adoy for him. He can play as a winger on attack. Saint Maximin can play as an inside forward on attack. Okay, and then let's see. Bastoni is on a six point four. Let's bring in John Stone for him. Livramento is tired. We don't have anyone because Julian Timber is injured right now. We don't have anyone that can actually come in for him. Balde. On a six point five, Milos comes in for him. Let's see, Alexander Isaac is on a six point one, but he's the type of player that you want to keep on, you know, because yeah, he can just change the change his uh change his gameplay, his average rating, just in a minute, you know, whenever he needed to be. And let's bring in Ruben Loftus Cheek to play as a box to box midfielder, you know, give a little bit of a support to Sandro Tonali. Four changes done, and you know what? I'm gonna go very attacking. Yeah. Lump the ball forward over the defense. Okay, so you know what? 
wing backs let's take put you all into the attacking duty and uh, yeah we are already losing the game by two goals right this might you know going extremely extremely attacking might give us a chance who knows we might be able to score one or two goals right we need three goals for us to keep our premier league dream alive schreiber for arsenal seriously i i don't think he have anything to do you know in this game seriously you know we have only two shots on target and i think isaac is offside there but let's see let's see how the oh my god he couldn't even he could not even hit the target what is happening with the team oh my dream of winning the premier league with newcastle is gone <laughs> that's it guys i i don't think i really don't think liverpool are going to lose to leeds united in their final match seriously i i really don't think they are going to do that they has been on a very very good run there i'm not happy with the performance out there seriously this is abysmal seriously i will tell you you know one of the worst performance of our team oh seriously guys you know before this loss against napoli and arsenal right we were unbeaten for 8 months our last defeat in the league was against tottenham when we lost 1-0 to them in the month of september 2026 and our team is showing this kind of shit performance you know we did not score a single goal in the last two games so guys so since uh, this is going to basically you know come up to the end of the season you know in the in the match day of 38 right so i'm going to play the game of leicester city off camera and we will be coming in back you know for the game against norwich city because this is where we will get to know whether we will be able to win the premier league or not liverpool will have to lose against this united and at the same time we will have to beat leicester city and norwich city as well for us to have any chance of winning the premier league this season i'll see you guys in a bit This is it guys seriously okay we are in the final game of our premier league campaign all right so we are behind liverpool with only one point difference all right so if liverpool didn't manage to get a win against leeds united and if we win our match we will be crowned the premier league champion but it's not going to be easy because liverpool's next opponent is going to be leeds united you know they are you know sitting in the 14th place in the premier league this season but if you know you know they actually managed to get into the if i'm not mistaken right leeds united actually managed to get into the quarter final of the champions league is it was it was it quarter final or the semi final yeah quarter final of the champions league so you know they are not to be underestimated i know their performance in the league is not great this season but i really hope that they will be able to get a little bit of a result against liverpool but you know none of this is going to be you know important if we don't get a win against norwich city all right so we really have to win against norwich city norwich city they are currently sitting 18 in the league but they have an incentive for a win today if they win their match and crystal palace lose their match they will be safe from relegation so it is not you know far from over for this norwich team and it's not going to be easy for us All right, so the team that I'm going to be fielding against Norwich City is going to be Costa and Gol, Badalde, Guardiola, Bastoni, and Livramento as our back four. Penalty in the base of the midfield, Nunes and Ruben Loftus Cheek as our true central midfielder. Hassan Adoy on the left, Rooney Baji on the right, and Isak as our striker up front. Let's just submit the team and get to the match. I'm seriously so damn nervous, guys. Oh, guys, seriously, you have no idea how nervous I, I am. Okay, last season, you know, this was the same thing, you know. We lost the Premier League to Liverpool, you know, with a difference of one point. One point. This could be the same thing this season. You know, we have to win our match today, and we have to pray that Liverpool doesn't get a result against Leeds United. Oh my God! Seriously, I really hope you know, uh, the favor, you know, the the luck is gonna be, you know, with us today, and I'm gonna put it into the around the grounds. I really need to see. what's going on you know in the other games as well seriously you guys know that i will be looking at the latest score of the liverpool and leeds game leeds united's game i'm going to demand more here it's already 20 minutes of this game we have a free kick here rooney baji 
trying to look for Bastoni. Bastoni got into the header, but he could not header it towards the target. We are going to be playing, you know, we are playing in our, you know, in our home stadium here today. And I really hope our fans will be able to, you know, motivate our teams to get uh, this win today. You know, Tonali with the corner, trying to look for Izak on the far post, headed clear by the defender, but we have the possession still. Rooney in the penalty box, passing it to Tonali. Ruben off the stick! He scores the opening goal of this game. Can this be, you know, can this be the goal, you know, that wins us the Premier League? Oh, how poetic will that be? You know, Ruben Loftus-Cheek has been with us, I think, for the past three or four seasons, you know. And, yeah, you know, putting on, you know, he is putting on the, you know, uh, the captain's band, the captain's armband today. And Liverpool are still, Liverpool are still drawing. That is, if you look at this, you know, if Liverpool stay nil in, if the result stays as a draw against Leeds United, we will win the league. I'm going to demand more here. Oh my God, seriously. I can't stop looking at the latest score. All right, so the first half is going to end with us leading the game, you know, with 1-0. And yo, if you look at this, we are creating a lot of chances, but our XG is not great. Okay, so what am I going to do is, you know, for the... For the first half change, right? I'm going to tell the team that I'm far from please. You know, we should be doing better with those chances. And I'm going to ask the team to work the ball into the box. All right. So we are creating a lot of chances. You know, you know, it is against Novi City, right? But we are not creating good chances there. You know, because uh, if you look at our XG, right? It's not great enough. I'm going to, I'm going to demand more again. And Liverpool are still drawing against Leeds United here. We are in the 62 minutes. You know what? Let's make a few changes. Alright, Rooney Baji is on a 6.4. Let's take him off for Tete. Alright, Nunes is on a 6.9 as well. Ruben of the 6. Tired. You know what? I'm going to let him play on, you know, for a while. Nunes will be out for Yunus Musa. Okay, only the two changes done. And yeah, let's see. We really need to score one more goal here. You know, uh, Leeds United. Please hold on. Please hold on. There's another 18 more minutes to go. Can we finally win the Premier League? But this has been an awful, awful display by our team, to be honest. Tonali is on a yellow card. He is uh, tired. I'm going to bring in Asiko and Kili for him. Ruben of the is also tired. I don't want to risk him, you know. Let's bring in Enzo Fernandez for him. Livra Mento, I don't have anyone that can actually play as a right back. So he will have to stay on. You know what? I'm going to keep that one sub in case of any emergency. In case of any injury. Please, guys. Please, please hold on. Can we finally be crowned the Premier League champion? Oh, Liverpool, do not break my heart here. Leeds United, please hold on. And we are the Premier League champion. I know, I know, I, I know this. Uh, the two games that we have played on camera has been awful. You know, even this Norway City, nothing has actually happened. There's no highlights. But we are Premier League champion here. Oh my God. Our first Premier League championship as a Newcastle's manager. Whoa! Let's go! <laughs> Finally! Oh my God. So the dream of a quadruple is still alive. We have won the Carabao Cup this season. We have won the Premier League. We have finally dethroned Liverpool as the England's best team. Oh, and in tomorrow's episode, we will have to face Manchester City for the FA Cup semi uh, FA Cup final, not FA Cup semi final. We'll have to face Manchester City for the FA Cup final and Bayern Munich. Oh. Bayern Munich for the Champions League final. I just can't believe that Liverpool, oh my god, Liverpool drew against Leeds United. They have been playing so well. Fair play to Leeds United. No, they managed to hold on to Liverpool, you know, to ensure that they don't win their fifth Premier League title in a row. Oh my god, seriously, I'm so giddy right now. You know, I can't believe that we have actually managed to win the Premier League. Oh, Wow. <laughs> oh, who is this Wilson? Is it, is it, is it Callum Wilson? Yeah, Callum Wilson. He class win a proud day for fans. Yes, it is. You know, okay. So, I, 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 I never knew that Newcastle actually managed, you know, they have actually won four, you know, Premier League title before this. I, 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 I don't think it's going to be Premier League title. Maybe they have won English title, English league, you know, before this, right? So, yeah. 
and the newcastle board is obviously happy you know oh my god seriously that's let's go <laughs> all right so okay so we 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 got to keep our celebration into the minimum all right because we have the fa cup final clash against manchester city and a champions league final against bayern munich so this is going to come up to this you know because our main main objective of this transfer challenge was to win the premier league with this newcastle team and this is going to be our first and only chance of winning the champions league against bayern munich all right so guys if you have not subscribed yet if you are the you know if you are a new viewer here you are a first time viewer do subscribe you know click on the notification bell you know and join me tomorrow for our champions league final against bayern munich this is it are we going to win this transfer challenge or are we going to lose this transfer challenge join me tomorrow for the champions league final i'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye